Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. First of all, I want to apologize for all of you, I had not uploaded any video around a month, because facing some problem, but now am I trying to continue to make the video, anyway, today, we are going to create a romantic wedding ink slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. Then create a new comp, it's called scene 1. Now create one more composition it's called media 1. Then create one more composition it's called image placeholder 1. Then drag your image into image placeholder 1. Resize if required. Now go to Media 1 Composition, and drag Texture Image into Timeline. Then drag Image Placeholder 1 Comp into Timeline. Now create a solid layer. and select rounded rectangle tool and create a mask like this and check inverted then select image placeholder one layer and change track matte alpha inverted matte then hit s for scale go to first frame and change scale around 115 percent then go to few frames forward and change scale 100%. Now go to scene 1 comp, and drag background image into timeline, our footage look little small, so we need to apply motion tile effect, check mirror edge, and change output width and height 1000. Now create a new composition, it's called BG Comp. Then drag image placeholder 1 comp into timeline. Then also drag ink 2 footage into timeline above the image placeholder 1 comp. And change track matte luma inverted matte. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to scene 1 comp. Then drag BG Comp into Timeline. Then drag Media 1 Comp into Timeline. Hit S for Scale and change Scale 70%. Then apply Drop Shadow Effect. Distance 0. Softness 145. Then add handwriting PNG into timeline below the media 1 layer. Scale around 50%. Duplicate the handwriting layer, and move other side. Select both layer and change opacity around 30%. Now drag ink 1 footage into timeline and change scale size 50%. Change mode normal to multiply. Then apply tint effect and change black color with any color. Select Ink 1 layer, and select Pen Tool, and create a mask like this. 
open ink one layer, then open mask one, and change mask feather. Now duplicate ink one layer, and move it another side. Also change the matte black color. Move both ink layer a little forward. Then drag grunge image into timeline. And change mode normal to multiply. And change opacity 50%. Now select all layer and turn on 3D. Then create a new camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Then create an all layer. And turn on 3D. And parent your camera with null layer. Select null layer and hit P for position, and shift R for rotation. Go to around 2 second forward, and add a keyframe on position and Z rotation. Now go to first frame, and change Z position little closer to camera. And change Z rotation 35 degree. Select both these keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Go to few second forward. And add a keyframe. Now go to one and two second forward. And change Z position, around minus 1100. And change Z rotation around minus 90 degree. We want some movement on null layer, so add a wiggle expression. Our scene 1 has complete. Go to main comp and drag scene 1 into timeline. Now add scene 2. So go to project window and duplicate scene 1. Then drag scene 2 comp into timeline. Open scene 2 comp. Now we need to change BG comp. So go to project window and duplicate BG comp. Then replace BG2 comp with BG comp. Now open BG2 comp and go to project window and duplicate image placeholder 1 comp then also replace image placeholder 2 comp with image placeholder 1 comp open placeholder 2 comp and change your image now also change media 1 comp so go to project window and duplicate media 1 comp then replace media 2 comp with media 1 comp layer open media 2 comp and replace image placeholder 1 comp. Perfect. You can also change the ink footage position. Our scene 2 also complete. Now go to main comp, and move the time ruler, when our scene 1 has start to rotate it. Then hit T for opacity and add a keyframe. Then go to few frame forward and change opacity 0%. Now move the scene to layer where we add our first keyframe. And change opacity 0%. Then go to few frame forward and change opacity 100%. Perfect, it's look good to me. Our animation has done. Hit 0 for render. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.